Rocking around the Christmas tree. Haha, <laughs> it's Christmas week. What's up, guys? Today we have the newest blend courtesy of Ryan Cecil and Kenny Coleman of the Bourbon Pursuit podcast. It's the third installment of the Bourbon Pursuit series. However, this one is their first rye. We know they are good at blending bourbon. Let's see how they did with their first rye right here on the Mass and Drum. What's up, folks? I am Jason C. from The Mash and Drum. Today, we're reviewing the Pursuit United Rye Whiskey, founded by the creators of the popular bourbon podcast, Bourbon Pursuit. The new blend marries three mash bills from two different distilleries from two different states to create its unique flavor profile. It's the same mindset used in this, which is the Pursuit United Bourbon, wanting to showcase the art of the blend. So the guys from Bourbon Pursuit were kind enough to uh, send me a sample of this. So what's in the blend? One of the mash bills comes from Bardstown Bourbon Company in Kentucky, and the other two come from Sagamore Spirit in Maryland. Now, historically, these two states are significant in producing rye whiskey. The blend uses Sagamore's 52% rye, 43% corn, and 5% malted barley mash bill to bring in those bourbon-like characteristics. Then on top of that, they added the Sagamore Spirit and Bardstown Bourbon Company's proprietary 95% rye and 5% malted barley mash bills to add those familiar rye flavors. The first rye is bottled at 108 proof, non-chill filtered and available for about 65 bucks. About 2,076 bottles are available. You can find it in Colorado, Georgia, Illinois, Kentucky, and Texas, and it was just recently sold out on sealbox.com. All right, so let's dive in guys, here we go. I gotta say, I dig the nose on this rye. It's got a really nice balance of sweet and savory uh, flavors coming across. You can definitely pick up like the brown sugars and the uh, kind of the richer, like sweeter flavors, the caramels, you know, from that higher corn mash bill. Definitely a little bit of apple cinnamon thing going on here. But then the orange peel, the spearmint, the mint, kind of like that evergreen flavor that you're familiar with the rye whiskey is in there as well. So it's kind of a really nice balance. I think that was what they were going for based on the components of the blend. A little bit of clove, honey. I'll say as I, uh, as I kept tasting this, the more I was, you know, sipping on this one, my, this is only my second pour, the first pour I had, the more the rye flavors were coming out and the bourbon flavors were kind of giving it just a nice little kick of sweetness. Let's give it a try. Mm. Now, the Pursuit United series, the first bourbon um, that they came out with, which is this bottle right here, the, the first Pursuit United, I really love this one. Thought it was a delicious blend. Second one was good, but for me personally, I like the first one better. This, on the other hand, is a really nice blend for their first rye. I think uh, Ryan Kenny did a wonderful job just kind of taking some of those, uh, those bourbon S notes, those, uh, those bourbon notes that you know, we're all familiar and we love, uh, and then marrying that together with a you know, really nice balance with the 95.5 rye. Yeah, same thing here. So it, it does have a nice texture to it. Remember, it's a non-chill filter. It has a nice proof point. You're right at 108. But my favorite part about this rye is probably the black pepper from front to back. It's what I like in a rye. And I, when I was reading the profile of it, I didn't want those, those, uh, those high rye characteristics to be overtaken by the lower rye mash bill that's in there. So right up front, you know, you get some of those hints of the bourbon, the bourbon-esque, uh, the bourbon-esque flavors. You get the vanilla, the caramel, you get a nice little brown sugar punch. And then right in the mid palate, here comes the rye, you get some cinnamon, some allspice a little bit I'm getting, maybe like a black tea, honey characteristic. The citrus is definitely there to kind of round it out. Then on the back end, at first, like the finish was a little bit easy, but then you just give it a second and the black pepper, it's almost like effervescent on the back of the palate. Yeah, there it is. That tingliness to it. It's sweet up front, a little bit savory in the middle, and then finishes with a really nice, that 95 five rye spice. Really beautiful blend, a little minty. If you're a Kentucky rye purist and you like it a lot sweeter, 
Um, I think you'll dig this one a little bit. It's got a little bit more of a peppery finish. If you like higher eye mash bills, it's got some of those components too. So I think in some ways, I think uh, Ryan and Kenny had a smart idea here. They kind of played to both sides uh, of the uh, of, a, of a rye lovers type palette. You got some spice for the 95.5, and then you got a little bit of sweet for more of the, uh, the Kentucky bourbon or the Kentucky rye drinkers out there. Just a great kind of mix. I will say as you continue to sip this, it does get a little bit more tame. Some of the spice on the palate goes away, but you're still left with that really nice spice on the back end. So for 65 bucks, I give this a big thumbs up. I, I think the guys did an amazing job blending this. It's great, like I said, I think it pleases all types of uh, rye drinkers and even you know, maybe bourbon drinkers or even scotch drinkers that haven't really been looking to rye whiskey. This could be a really nice little you know, bridge uh, for both of them because it has both the sweet and the savory and the spice. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this review for the new Pursuit United Rye, their first rye release. What'd you, what'd you think, Grinch? You like it? Well, you're green. You probably like this, right? No, nothing to say. He's just, just always just has nothing. It just provides nothing. Just stares at me like that. <laughs> anyway, if you like the video, hit the subscribe button below. Please hit the like button. If you haven't yet, find me on Instagram, find me on Twitter. Let me know if you've had this yet. Uh, and if you actually enjoyed the bourbon, uh, the Pursuit bourbons that they have released in the past. And as I always say, it's not about the whiskey, it's the people you share it with. Cheers. And I'm going to leave this under the tree for Santa, I think, along with his cookies. Take care, everybody.